One of the most challenging things for me while spreading truth is convincing people that this world is not here for our best interests. Yeshua will return, and when he comes, he's bringing judgment and a sword. Shalom to everyone. I want to share a short piece with you today, and if it opens even one pair of eyes, it'll be worth it. And for others, may it just serve as a reminder of how fast times will begin to move soon. Yeshua is the only way. Get familiar. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In an effort to comply with the wicked and deceptive world agenda, people compromise their own common sense in a search for foolish and often blind endeavors given strength by the globalists, the wolves in sheep's clothing. They come clothed, head to toe, in a garment of false noble intentions, with which eager residents of a fallen world flock eyes wide shut. They're blind to all the tools and tactics of the enemy which our Heavenly Father warned us about. But in him they seek not, and so the fruits of their labors they shall inevitably receive. At this pivotal moment, I see several priorities for the global agenda. We must continue to fight against the global pandemic. We must revitalize the global economy and accelerate its transition to net zero. We must preserve biodiversity by deploying nature-based solutions and we must narrow you will own nothing and you will be happy. Life support systems and what that means above all else is getting out of livestock farming is really shutting down animal farming altogether wow that's crazy man the gall the hubris he said stop animal farming altogether here it is for people that think this stuff is conspiratorial this is the move at least one of many but this is the perspective of these globalists, these the sustainability movement. Warning, your weekly rental smart contract will automatically execute in 72 hours. Please ensure that your personal wallet is appropriately funded. Your scheduled Uber ride share will arrive in 10 minutes. global food shortages, the collapsing supply chains. We warned you about the climate crisis, and now you reap what you have sown. But there is still hope. Thanks again to science, we have a solution. Insects, a sustainable, equitable, and nutritious source of protein for a fraction of the carbon footprint of livestock. We can finally put an end to the wasteful and cruel practice of meat eating for good. You will own nothing. And you will be happy. For nature. Now, a revolution in civilization is taking place. Imagine a traditional city and consolidating its footprint, designing to protect and enhance nature. The line will be home to 9 million residents and will be built with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. 
and we are designing it to provide a healthier, more sustainable quality of life. The Lions communities are organized in three dimensions. Residents have access to all their daily needs within five-minute walk neighborhoods. And the Lions infrastructure makes it possible to travel end-to-end -end in 20 minutes with no need for cars, resulting in zero carbon emissions. By leveraging AI technology, services are autonomous, saving you time and effort. Designed by world-leading architects, the line is 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, 170 kilometers long, and housed within an elegant mirror glass facade. Intelligent solutions create efficiency and year-round temperate microclimate with natural ventilation. Energy and water supplies are 100% renewable. The line is designed as a series of unique communities, offering a wealth of amenities, providing equitable views and immediate access to the surrounding nature. With 40% of the world accessible within six hours at the heart of the globe's key trade routes, a place for commerce and communities to thrive like nothing on earth seen before. The Line, the city that delivers new wonders for the world. And imagine that over 35,000 people live and work there, and governed by building codes, health and safety laws, or other regulations. The picture that emerges might look something like this. This is the Kowloon Walled City, one of Hong Kong's most notorious and most misunderstood communities. And until its demolition in 1993, it was the most densely populated place on the planet. Until now. Do you really think they're building you some utopia? You will own nothing. And you will be happy. Number 22177? New transfer? Yes. Good. Look up. Uh -huh. So what do you think of your new work pod? Pretty nice, right? Yeah. It's a bit cramped though. Oof. That's bad speak. I'll let you sort it out. See you at the mandatory Shibuya roll call dance later today. Yikes. You have violated your employment smart contract. Replaying offending speech. It's a bit cramped though. This statement is in direct contradiction with the verified Snopes fact that open office 2.0 work pods are comfortably spacious, combining the safety of closed cubicles with the communal spirit of open office environments. You have been deducted 20 good boy tokens from your weekly income. Warning! Projected weekly income is insufficient to meet your weekly rental payment. Please ensure that your wallet is appropriately funded within the next 68 hours.